everybody. How are you? How are we? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Fanny. Uh, 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 uh. Miss Joey, what's crack a lacking? Hi. I have to warn you guys. We are playing Russian roulette doing the live because of my doggies. Oh my goodness. The mailman came and it was mass chaos. So I'm sorry. I'm about 18 minutes late. It was something else. No, don't do it, Ziggy Dog. So we're going to, we're going to try, but they don't like the rain because they're princesses. Oh, oh. hi everybody. You know, I got a fun fact for everybody while we're waiting for a few more people. I was watching <clears throat> another YouTuber uh, do thrifting and talk about uh, how they just loved thrifting and things like that. And I was fine with that. And she took her friend with her. Um, but the video took a really bad turn. Uh, and I was just watching it like this. I, I, I couldn't believe it. She was vulgar. It was F word this, F word that, F word this. Then she was, you know, acting like she was doing things with, with a banana, if you know what I'm saying. It was absolutely filthy. And I couldn't believe that YouTube allowed this. I was freaking out. So, you know, I made a comment. I said, you were really fun to watch. I laughed through the whole thing, but it was a bit vulgar. And her response to me was this. I need to search inside myself. If I find her offensive or what she says offensive, I need to search inside myself and figure out why. So I think that, you know, I searched inside myself and thought why she was so vulgar. So, yeah, yeah. so... And the consensus is this. She was nasty. It was vulgar. And what else can I say? So can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me? No, oh, hi. Marisol, what's crack a <laughs> Okay, I don't know if there's a, a lag. Looks like there's about a 60 second lag. So I wanted to feature today. Um, I had some special requests for the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Now, as I was looking it over uh, today, I've, I've got the tag. Um, I know whom I bought it from. My concerns is it doesn't look exactly like some of the other tote bags Mark Jacobs has. And, and I'm thinking, I'm hoping that I didn't get taken for a ride because what I first noticed is look right here. That doesn't look exactly right to me. So I don't, I don't know if I feel extremely confident. I think that this was a very expensive dupe. I think I was taken. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands for that, obviously. But, I mean, I, I'm i not 100% sure. I'm really into my, if, if you all know me, I'm really into my Marc Jacobs collection. Um, I, I got this because I knew, yeah, this is a, I, I'm, it's very expensive. I paid. Yeah, so let's just say I paid a couple hundred dollars for a dupe. I was taken for a ride. So I'm going to have to take measures to make that right, but I don't think I will. So I'm going to take a couple of hundred dollar loss. I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I don't think it is because I was 
cleaning it up and I was getting it all ready. I pulled it out. And what I first noticed was the zipper. There's no Mark Jacobs written on it. And then I pulled out the inside and it didn't look right. So I investigated it more and it's like a neoprene. So yeah, this was an expensive, expensive, several hundred dollar dupe. So I want to apologize now and I'm going to get that off my thumbnail. I think I did. I think I put my, tried to put my Fiori bag on there. Um, so I apologize. If anybody wants a crap ass dupe bag, and yes, I said ass and I apologize. I mean, hey, it isn't worth anything. Cost me a couple hundred bucks because I'm an idiot. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. Maybe for a kid or something, you know, maybe for a giveaway. So if anybody watched my, my intro for today, the first person that could tell me what my blue healer's name is, the second dog, will get the dupe bag for free. Hi, Duffel. How are you? Yeah, but I noticed it, the M, it, it isn't right. And I thought, oh, my God. And I went back through my receipts and thought, oh, geez, I did. I paid that much money. I didn't, yeah, and that's what happens when you buy on the internet. So, sorry, Izzy. Izzy was the first puppy. <laughs> Izzy is a little pit bull. Who, who, is, who is the the girl that was on the floor? What was her name? First person that can tell me, I will send this. I will send this to you free of charge. I will even pay the shipping, man, if you don't buy anything else. Because dang, crap. But I mean, it'd be fun to give it to a little kid or whatever. So I'm doing good. Too full, you know. I should have. Oh, I should have went to you before I bought the bag and showed you pictures, but I bought that bag and that was a $225 mistake. I got duped. Yes, I paid $225 for this crap. <laughs> you know, um, it sounds a little hard to believe, but um, this is the first time that I've been taken. So... Oh, yeah. I got it on the Ebays. And they have an authentication, whatever, but I don't know. But, yeah. But the first person who can tell me what my blue healer's name, the orange puppy was laying on the floor, will get this in the mail. It's not much. It ain't worth nothing. But I, I can't, I can't believe it. And it's been hanging in with my collection. <laughs> Ziggy Pie. <laughs> Ziggy was the first doggy I showed. And then I showed him again later. The second doggy, the blue healer who was laying on the floor. <laughs> it starts with an M. <laughs> So I'm going to do things a little different. Matilda, there you go. All righty. Just go ahead and email Sylvia um, your address and what have you, and you're going to get a, you know, a freebie doopy. Oh, I can't believe it. So you're going to get the Mark Jacobs tote bag. Okay, I wrote that down. Okay, so I'm doing things a little bit different. Um, so it's not so chaotic like it was before, and a lot of these things are new. Um, I'm going to show an order, and you guys can go into the description box anytime you want to, and I've got everything already all listed, and I figured that would be that would be easier. Ooh, let me put on my eyeballs because you all are talking. 
Best of less like this last month. I got my money back. Woo! Yeah, Tara, I didn't spend four fifty, but good grief. I, I doubt I'll get my money back. I, I don't know. Right before I come on, I, I tried to find the guy. And, uh, you know, yeah, so, yeah, they got me. They got me pretty good. All right. So I've got these in order. I did to fold this thing it is as fake as fake can be. Look at the M. I didn't even notice it until today. There was a couple that were really interested in it, and I wanted to make sure, yeah. Then I went to unzip it to check the paperwork. And, it, and I noticed the zipper pull. It has nothing written on it. The crossbody had nothing written on it. And then when I pulled out, I mean, I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't, I doubt it. But, and this is all plasticky and like spongy. What happened to Ann? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. It's fake. I got to start looking a little bit more closer. I, I have to stick with my regular suppliers because this is ridiculous. So, yeah. I got duped. But Sylvia is going to get the dupe to do with whatever she wants to do with. So she can have that. Get it out of here. So I'm going to go in order. Now, I can guarantee you these are not fake. Oh, my God. No way. The Louis Vuitton. Oh. Ooh. It's ridiculous. Seriously. I have, for number one, a spring bag. This would be really fun for spring. Brand new with tags. Oh, the one she, oh, no way. Oh, dirty rats. God, you know. Jeez. It's ridiculous. Wow. I, you know, some people have nothing better to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. This was inside it, so this will go with it. So it's got a little coin purse inside. Super clean, obviously. I never used it. It was brand new. And, of course, with the lighting, you can never see inside my bags. But you all know I'm not going to send you no poopy poo poo bags. But this was in it, so I'm assuming it goes with it. So, how cute is that, too? And there you go. So, that's number one. Prices are in the description box. I probably don't mess up my brain because I don't want to go anywhere near the bags with, with pins or anything like that. So, I thought that would be easier. So, everybody wanted to see the Patricia Nash. I got a request also. For the larger Zach Posen. You know, I didn't think to grab. I should get up and grab my tape measure. She's not small, but she's not. I, the, the handle. Look at that. That is so pretty. Nice crossbody. Move my junk. We'll go get tape measure. So I'm still really cross about that, you know. I don't call myself cheap, but I don't like to go and just drop a couple of hundred dollars on something. You know, that's crap. So we all have to put yeah. Well, I mean, I thought 
maybe I misread it because I thought eBay had, you know, an authentication process now or what have you. I guess you don't have to if you don't want to then or what. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Posen is eight by nine at the widest point and this depth is about three and a quarter inches and I'm going to give him another little wipe down because I see where to go. I don't know if you can see it. A little bitty, little bitty mark right there. Oh, so, okay, so they have to opt in for that. Okay. So, there you go. It's got a little there. You open it up. It says Zach Pose in here. Super clean on the inside. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. If it doesn't sell, I won't be upset. <laughs> Look at the strap. And it's both, both of them are removable, so you can put more fun things on it. Wow. Well, even a dollar. You know, money's hard to come by these days. Everything is so expensive. Geez, you're going to pay $6 for a carton of eggs so you can have your morning. That's ridiculous. So another request I had... If somebody wanted to see number three, my Mark Posen, or my Mark Posen, Mark Posen. Look at that, Mattel, Mark Posen. Mark Jacobs, clearly back. I've seen a few on eBay, and mine's in better shape than theirs. Mine has little scuffings right here and right here. Barely noticeable, but it's super clean. I've never seen one like this. So I thought it was rather interesting. And I've got clean rags down in there because I went through and cleaned everything up. And I like to do that. I like to stuff it better than with newspaper and paper sometimes. Super clean. Doesn't have a back pocket. It has three inside. It's got a front, middle. Good. More of these. It's got the really nice Marc Jacobs fabric. Then the front, you can put whatever you want there, but it's got like a, a whoosh, swoosh, whooshy, whooshy. And another little pocket here. Isn't that weird? That's some crazy, crazy stuff, man. So, I think... With me, I, I've not carried it. I mean, it, it, because if you mess with it and things like that, I mean, it's protected. That's all well and good. But, you know, the fingerprints, I don't know. I, I don't know. I see anything like it. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice crossbody. <laughs> and I think I covered up my tape measure. So he's not real small either. So, Mr. Mark Jason clearly... Is seven and a half tall by 11 wide. And then it's like an accordion style. So it's about six. You can pull it out. So he's cool. It says inside here. You can see it. It's a mark by Mark Jacobs. <laughs> Isn't that neat? There we go. <laughs> What'd you guys think of that? Did you guys think that's weird? Isn't that weird? Okay. And oh, speaking of Mark Jacobs, I had another request for totes. I have the sparkly tote. It's got the sequins, it's got some lines. Says Mark Jacobs, beautiful thick leather, and it's got this. I don't, I don't know why. 
the ring. I'm I'm wondering. I don't know if you when you fill it up, you can fold it together. I don't know. I don't fold up my leather bags. Real nice thick leather. It's super clean on the inside, and it has an attached. Mark Jacob pouch inside, and then we've got here the Mark Jacobs little paperwork, the little care instructions down in the pouch. It's a really cool bag. I'm, I'm, I was a little confused by that, by this. So, if you know. Yeah. Hi, Cindy. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> well, uh, stripes and sequins. I, I love the leather on it, though. I was, yeah, I'm a little confused by the by the clip on the bottom, so. Okay. There we go. All right, crossbody, where'd it go? I'm trying to go in order. I don't want to go out of order. Here we go. But I'm not real good at. All right, small. Pick up some crossbody. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's this one. All right. Patricia Nash crossbody. Beautiful bag. I used this for a little while. Really pretty bag. It is. Me and my tape measure again. Don't get alone. 11, oh, I'm sorry, 9 by 11, and 3 and a half to 4 inches. Beautiful. This leather will last forever. I'm hoping I'm not out of order. <laughs> Because I can't even read my own handwriting. Because that would be too easy. You, go. you have two little slip pockets, little rouged slip pockets. The other side has a zipper pocket with the Patricia Nash logo. Nice and clean. Smells really good. I love Patricia Nash leather. Just smells wonderful. So I do believe that that is number five. Next, it's brand new with tags, is a burgundy clutch by Patricia Nash. There you go. 79 retail. Opens up. Inside has two, you can't see, two little ruched pockets. And of course, it's got a zipper pocket there on the inside. And it holds a lot. And it's got the little authentication tag down in there. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty clutch.
Hey, Marie, thank you. You know, I'm probably about as cool as a 52-year-old could be. But thanks. <gasps> so good. All right. That was a clutch. And now we have the small floral wallet, which I stuck. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I try to stay in order. There it is. Little small floral wallet by Patricia Nash. Retails for $49. So nice. You got two little card pockets, wallets, pockets, pockets. Here's the little authentication card. Cute little thing. And I have the matching purse to this. It's got the this detailing on it. Um, it's got to be in a different storage area because I couldn't find it. <laughs> but they have this style in the purse and, the, you know, it's got the little cutouts and then they have the regular. I found the regular. So cute, 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 cute. That was number seven. Number eight, somebody asked me if I had any more pouches. Here is the embossed pouch. I found her. Beautiful cream color. Never used her. She was so pretty. I, you know, I like to use it for my pens or if I'm going to carry markers or anything that could explode. Um, so, but this was so pretty. I didn't want to use it for that. So then I just ended up not using her and she sat in a drawer for like a year. Retails for $79. Still got the little silica things. Has the two little, 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 little booty butt. I can't say it. Rushy. Rooshed. Zipper pocket. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's got the authentication card down in there. So this is nice. Yeah, hit a thumbs up if you like what I'm putting out there. Yeah. I show my age when I do that. I think that was an 80s thing. Really do. All right. So here is that bag I was telling you about. But this one doesn't have the cutouts. This is brand new with tags. Got a back zipper pocket. Which I got it stuffed to the gills. So it's going to be hard to... This is a cool bag. You know, it's, it's floral. It's, it's not my cup of tea. So it just kind of sat there. I went through this. I, went, I don't want to say psychotic, but I was mad for Patricia Matt Nash a while back. And now I've, you know, gone nuts over something else. I've moved on to Mark Jacobs' collection. So the Patricia Nash, eh, I don't, I don't like the floral things. It's still got everything in it. So it's got the dust bag, your authentication. It's got the first pocket. It's got the zipper middle. And then in the front, it has the ruching again. Then it has one, two, three, four, well, six card slots. So you can use it for a wallet too. Beautiful suede underneath. It's a cute bag. Really cute bag. Get you some measurements here. But I want to put all its goodies back in there. Because if I don't, it's going to get thrown down here and a doggy or somebody's going to step on it or stuff gets lost that way. So this bag is 
about seven, nine, nine wide. And when stuffed, it'll go out to a solid three. Pretty nice. I hope you guys like that bag because man, it, it's it that one's a nice one. So that one was. Oh, you know what? I skipped around the cream pouch. You know what? Okay. I missed this is number nine, guys. The floral embossed. I apologize. This one I carried for a while. It's got super cool handles. I'm the only one that's ever used it. I bought it brand new. It's got a back pocket. You see the details? The floral details. They're so cool. Inside, it's got lots of room. You've got a zipper pocket. Then on the other side, you've got your two your two ruched pockets. I think that seems to be a signature of hers. You get two little ruchy pockets. Super clean. I take really good care of my bags. No explodey stuff, crusties, things are growing in there, science experiments, anything like that. We're not having none of that. So. so zips. Then it's got a really cool. Really cool snap. It's got its tassels. Tassels are cool. Nice and fun. Bottom. I don't, you could hang a crossbody on there if you wanted to. The strap drop is quite large on there. I never felt the need to have to do that. But I suppose you could. Because that strap drop is probably a solid 10. Purse is about eight and a half tall by 12.75 across. And there you go. That's the floral embossed bag. And I already showed you. So next is the Tory Birch. I do believe I already have if Somebody that's already come at me for that one. <laughs> you like my commentary? <laughs> cool. Okay. Tori Birch just sold. There. I'm sorry. That's why my phone's going off. It comes with everything in the crossbody. She just sold you guys. Well, I'm sorry. The Patricia Nash crossbody, the um, this one, I got it down in the description box, sweetie. It should be the Patricia Nash crossbody with the two pocket fronts. It's sweet. You would love that bag. I put that down in the description box because I am a flake. I will forget. I overquote you. I've done that before, and I've done that with Hadrian. Remember that one time I did that? I did that. Overquoted, and I don't want to do that. So, oh, this here. This is where I carry my laptop in. This is a mulberry. She's pretty. <laughs> my laptop goes in there. Next is the duffel bag. I've never used her. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? Did I miss one again? God darn it, I did. I'll show the top bag. This is the duffel bag. Well, you know what? It doesn't do any good for me to write anything down because dang. Now, this one retails for 
Look at this. Beautiful. You should see the size of the dust bag for this thing. It comes with a dust bag. It comes with every, <laughs> everything you could possibly want. I've never even taken the stuffing out of this bad boy. So, and it's got like air pillows in there. You name it, it's in there. So, it's all kind of stuff. And then down at the bottom, it comes with the crossbody. Still stuck on there. So, this bad boy, you know, will probably be around $20 to ship. Because I'll have to get a big old box. But I'll be glad to do that. So I put that down in the description box. There we go. Beautiful. If you need a duffel bag, this one is for you. So, twofold. I found another, another leaf skin tote in pink. So... You know what? I forgot this one. This one I've showed you before. This is the one that's 140, I think. This is the one where my collection was so large, I forgot, you know, that I had it and I bought it again. And I, I do those things. It retails for $229. She's a bigger tote. She is 10 and a half tall. 14 and a half wide. And four and a half to five feet. I sold one of these to one of the beautiful ladies in the Discord. Now, sitting down in here, <laughs> that's not supposed to be in there, but I'll include it. I got this at Marshall's for $24.99. <laughs> so, that's a little bonus. That was sitting down in here. So, you know what? I love you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it in there. Ha. So, if you want to purchase this bag, you're going to get the. <laughs> you could pack a one day trip you could pack for like a week in that bad boy but yeah that 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 toad is no joke man yeah. and last but not least I've showed you this before I've got the backpack floral embossed I got this on sale because I want to move it. It is, I had it for like, I think I listed it for 140 and then I dropped it to 125 and I'm moving it from one end of my area to the other end of my area. I'm tired of moving it. Beautiful. It's real thick leather. Okay. Inside. Is super clean and it has one, two, three, four, five, six card slots on this side. You can see them. Zipper pocket on this side. Then we have the padded area here. You could put an iPad down in there. And then the little key thing holder. The key things holder. I just started using mine. And it's great because it's better than going digging around. It's raining outside like today and I'm digging around in my purse and getting all wet. And then I have to come in. I wipe myself off, wipe the purse off, try to figure out where the dogs are, wipe their feet off. So it has a front pocket. Beautiful tote or tote, backpack. If you like that Western motif, This is the bag for you. But I got it on sale today for $99. 
<laughs> I do have, if you guys, you know, want another little giveaway, um, I do have, if you've seen in the intro, that little Brighton coin purse. Do you want to see it? I can ask a question that was in the uh, video and the first person that can answer it can get it. I'll show it to you. I started conditioning it. Got a little hard on it. It's a cute little thing. A little Brighton. <coughs> It's leather. I tried to, I, I got them better. The more I conditioned it, the better. It has little, little rubbies. But it's now all clean and purty. And inside here, there's a little tag. There it is. That is a Brighton. Cute, cute, cute. So I'll be happy to pop this into somebody's bag or give it away. It's up to you. So what did I call my dogs? Because they won't go outside in the rain. What did I say they were acting like? Do you remember? Nobody? My doggies don't want to get wet because they're little wet. <laughs> well, if nobody gets it, well... Shirley, that's what it is. <laughs> Shirley, just pop me an email and let me know what your shipping address is. <laughs> yep. I have a big old German Shepherd. I have a pit bull and they act like princesses. They do not like the water outside. They cry and whine and they do this little, they do this little backup thing. And they won't go outside. Gremlins. <laughs> And that's going to you, Shirley. I am on shift again this weekend. So I have to work 14 hours tomorrow and then 12 hours Friday or Saturday and then 12 hours Sunday. But I have Monday and Tuesday off. So your goodies will go out on Monday. First thing. So the people that got the giveaways, make sure I have your address so I can send you these things. Is there anything else that you guys want to see? Any questions? <laughs> so now did you guys, oh, were you guys ever, the Discord group would probably know, but that, you know, I had to, I talked about before everybody came in, I watched that video of that chick with doing the bags and she was out with her friend and, and what have you. Um, she, I was watching the video and she was really funny and I was having a good time until she started with the F this and F that completely vulgar. I mean, good grief. And I, I couldn't believe it. Cause I, when I thought I was going to come online, I read all the rules. So apparently in Canada, you can say or do whatever you want. She even referenced, you know, with a banana with her friends and she's got her tongue stuck out. And I'm thinking, good grief, you can do that. And she was just horrible. So I sent her a message and said, you were fantastic and fun to watch. I was nice. I said, but then you got a little vulgar, um, you know, selling purses is one thing, but some people really enjoy that. You shouldn't really reference blowjobs. And that's exactly what I said. And she told me, 
that if she says or does things that I find offensive, I need to look inside myself and find out why. So I did look inside myself, came to the conclusion that she is still trash, vulgar. Go Canada. Sorry, but whatever. And I watched, she put another video out um, this morning. I thought I'd be blocked and just as vulgar. I mean, come on, man. I don't know. Maybe it's a different generation, but you know, and, and in this video, she was making fun of Asian people in a very hard and very just offensive way, totally offensive. I think Vicky Purse Pers Curator watched it and, you know, a few people watched it and was absolutely appalled by what they saw. Well, I, you know, maybe. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about that yet. The techie stuff still losing me, you know. Letters are hard. Numbers are hard. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I felt compelled to say something, you know, but... Yeah, I thought about it long and hard, Kristen. I did, and I still think, yeah, nasty. Nope. I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> but we, we just don't make fun of other people like that. You know, we just don't do that. Huh. So, this is a beauty, beautiful tote. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So anything you guys want to see why you got me here real quick? Uh, thanks, Kristen. Any other questions? I got about 500 bags here. You're welcome to. I did the Patricia Nash um, because I, somebody requested a, a Patricia Nash showing. Uh, they wanted to see the Zach Posen and they wanted to see the Mark Jacobs. The sparkly Mark Jacobs. The little top. Beautiful pebbled leather. And it comes with coin purse. It's attached and it doesn't come off. So it's on there permanently. And then it has, you know, the care instructions down inside. I do have um, some All Saints bags coming. I don't have them yet. I'm still waiting on those. <laughs> but I, pulled them. I got some more. Uh, I got some more Madewell. Um, there was a Madewell I got. It had an ink mark on the front of it, and uh, I might have to get with Hadrian. I ruined the front of it. There's a spot where I try to take it off. I used the wrong chemical to get it off. And yeah. Thanks, Don. So, but yeah. Um, more All Saints coming. We got a lot of stuff coming. Um, Friday, when we do the Palantines, um, I'm with my being on shift, um, when the Palantines comes, it has not come yet. Um, I will record a little something for you guys to watch if you want to. Um, but I can't, I can't get online because even though he's doing it at eight o'clock for me, it's 10 o'clock and I get up at 4 a.m. for work. So 10 o'clock's already um, pushing it for me. I make it to one or two bags and then I fall asleep. And <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll record the Palantines when I get it. I just can't I can't go live. I'll hang as long as I can. But you know, Saturdays at my job are crazy. I am, you know, I'm a, a team leader uh, for a warehouse for pedigree. We make pedigree dog food, what have you, for Calcan Mars Pet Care, and it is absolutely insanely busy, crazy. So. Yeah, it's hard. Well, I mean, 
I work 12 hours initially, but being a leader, um, I have to be there half an hour before everybody else. So I got to do the scheduling. Who's going to do what? Who's going to be on what line? What lines are running? You know, uh, how many tons of dog food? I got. It's pretty involved, but um, I'm, I'm there from 5 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night. So I, mine turned into 14-hour days, but I'm hourly. <laughs> you know, and to took that position, I said I needed to be hourly. Um, so I did that. Which Patricia Nash crossbody, honey? So I work Monday, Tuesday, then I'm off Wednesday, Thursday. So I only work maybe 17 days out of the month. I have this one. And then I have the floral. No, I handle logistics. That's, that's me. I'm a logistics person. Did you see me as a nurse? Oh my goodness, I can't even keep track. One, two, three, four, five, which way the, the purses go. Would you really? I would. No. They're crossbodies. Then we have the bucket bag. That's also a crossbody. The one with the two pockets. Okay. Got a back pocket. It's very soft. I'm the one that broke it in. It's very soft, thick leather. The crossbody is adjustable, but I always left it on the longest one because I like it longer. Oh, there you go. You're in the same field, man. Teach a warehousing and logistics. Yep, that's what we do. Pays the bills, right? Little tag there. 100% genuine leather. There you go. And then it's got some different language. It's got the two ruche. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the one that says has the two. Hi, Carmen. Has the two pouches in front with the stud details. I didn't put that on my list, but yeah, it should be. I wrote it all out before I come here. So life could be so much easier because last time was chaos. I ain't gonna lie. It was chaos. My brain. So. But it's nice and broken. But yeah, I got Madewell's coming. I got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> the Lueve purchase. Oh, you know, a little secret. Um, my bags aren't like really high end. Mine are kind of in the middle of the road. But, you know, the puzzle bags and that, I love that, you guys. And, and then your loot. My sister bought me a Louis Vuitton backpack. She's going to bring it to me in March. Holy moly. Wow. So, I don't know why. When my mother passed away, I got her wedding rings and things like that. And she asked if she could have those. And I'm like, I've had them for six years. And I have lots of vintage coach. Bone Adventure. Um, if you would like, on Monday, I will feature some vintage coach. I've got a vintage coach backpack in black. I have, t I got arrived yesterday, two duffel, or not duffel, but two tote bags that are vintage. And I still have. I have a mini vintage one, and then I have, um, I still have the black one that hasn't sold, but they're all made in the USA. But I will absolutely do that. I can record something for you, Bona. It's not a big deal if you guys want to see what I got. Then I can dig out more because I'm fairly certain I'll find. I can do another live Monday if you want me to, if you want me to feature vintage coach. I can do that. I don't have a whole lot left. Unfortunately, we had a 
a, a person I thought was a friend of ours um, <clears throat> that talked me out of the one Louis Vuitton and my uh, coach uh, for to, to trade. And well, I sent her these things and she didn't uh, do that on her end. So, cause I had the one I sent her was the big hobo. It was probably this big, it was a big, massive thing. It, it, it was very hippie-esque, very, very hippie-esque. But yeah, Monday, I can do the vintage, vintage coach. It's not a big deal. I can take pictures of them and uh, post them in Discord too, if you want. I can do that anytime over the weekend. Not a huge deal. That's all right. That is absolutely right. You know why it's okay? Because Ann and some other people took right good care of that person. So we don't have to worry about that. So you should join the Discord. The moderators are fantastic. Um, if I knew how to post a link properly, I would do that. Um, so if somebody wants to, but yeah, you guys should join the Discord. Great group of people. Uh, you know, I like buying from them. They buy for me. I uh, I like, uh, we do trades sometimes. We have some great trades. I got these from Kristen. I got these really cool Carl Lagerfeld glasses with my little cat things and what have you. Yeah, I just dropped it off at the uh, the mall the other day so they can heat them up and kind of reconfigure them because they, they were falling off my face. And uh, yeah, so they're super cute and I'm getting them so they can fit my face so I can wear them. Yeah, they had the, the left arm was like really wide it, and I was afraid that I was going to break it. So I wanted them to to work on those. So that's what they're doing. They're working on those. When I get them back, I should get them back Monday or Tuesday, actually. I just haven't had a chance to go by there and check on them because I've been working so much. Yeah, Kristen, they, they are, they, they, they got rid of the, they got rid of the problem and that's a great thing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty wide. Okay, so Monday. Let me write that down. Monday is vintage coach, vintage coach day. Okay. I have some really uh really nice, you know, older uh coach bags too that I'm that I'm working on. I still have that crossbody too. We can do a coach day if you want. No problem. I'm glad you like your Betsy Puppy set. I still have one. I still have all of that. I still have those Kate Spades. Um, yeah, I come across those today as I was digging out some of the Patricia Nash. I still have some of those. Yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to go before my dogs get up. <laughs> you guys have got to see this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this dog. <laughs> but you guys have a great day. I will see you. <laughs> He's all. You have a great day. I will see you guys all on Monday then, and we'll have a nice coach day. I'm going to go now so I can let them out. Bye, guys. Stay crazy.